Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about WordPress security. This will be the first video of our WordPress security series. Loginizer is the first plugin. You can simply go to your admin panel, plugin, add new plugin and search for Loginizer. What, as its name mentions that what Loginizer will do, it will give you security for your login page, WordPress login page. It will fight against brute force attacks. You can see more about WordPress, uh, more, more about Loginizer on WordPress uh, plugin page. Uh, it will protect your website from unauthorized access. What the free features are, it protects you from brute force, failed login IP logs, blacklist IP, whitelist IP. You can simply whitelist your IP or at least your country IP. So you are at minimum like 60, 70 or 90% skewed. So if somebody will try to attack your site from your uh, country, then it will be something uh, series furthermore. Moreover, uh, there will be more premium features like pro features you have to buy for that. There will be two factor authentication via application, via email, and passwordless login means you can log in with the username. It will send you a password to your uh, email. You click that link, it will let you log in. There will be recapture, login challenge question. So anybody using uh, uh, brute force application, any software that attacks WordPress tries to log in with the password list, they will not be able to lo log in. If you use recapture or multi-factor authentication or login challenge questions, you will be more secure. Your website will be more secure. Uh, it will disable the XML RPC. So these are the these are pro features. These are the features. Of, these are the most of the things that you need to do in order to secure your website. This is the first step. Let's try to download. It might take some time. While it does, let's check the documentation. Under documentation, it shows how to install Pro version, how to install license, how to buy license, and stuff like that. You can get more details about this. How to manually disable the authentication factor. This will be fun. I believe you have to go somewhere in admin panel. Yeah. See, you have to go to FTP and navigate to this. Now rename the folder so you can log in. Anyways, I hope, yes, it is downloaded. Let's activate this and see its features. Yes, there is Loginizer security. You can go to dashboard. You can subscribe. You can add review. This is right now they are telling us what is happening with our website. What is the loginizer version? What is the URL? What is the path? What is server IP? It is uh, HTXS is writable. It is read. It should not be writable. Uh, WP config is writable. No, which is green, which is fine. And the methods you can use, you can use a custom method also. You can use uh, remote address. Moreover, it gives you uh, more file permissions. This is root directory. Uh, suggested is 755, actually 755 you see here, wpconfig.php file should be 444. Our file is 640, which is not correct. Same goes for htxs. It should be 444. Our actual is 644. You need to update these permissions so you start securing your web page or your website. This is option number one. Next, brute force protection. 
you can simply see any page, any IP trying to log in. Any IP attempted username, last login, failed, logouts, or URL attacked. You can set the brute force settings uh, by try uh, putting maximum tries, lockout time, maximum lockouts. After maximum lockouts, it, what it will do, it will blacklist your uh, IP, whichever is trying to log in with only wrong passwords. Reset retries 24 hours. Email notification zero lockout zero means to disable. Trusted IP, this is a new feature. Actually, this was premium feature previously. Now they haven't entered this in the uh, free version. Now they have enabled. So if you enable loginizer will allow only allow whitelist IPs to log in. So only whitelisted IPs can be logged in. You can get your uh, IP, my IP, or what is my IP, you can search that. So that is your IP, you can simply copy. Well, I need to hide that. and you can put your own ip ranges after you enable it this uh, if you sorry this is blacklist if you are you want to blacklist the ip ranges you can blacklist them there or you can whitelist the ip ip ranges starting if you have one static ip you can use that more you can mark up error messages what will be the message displayed and you can save that message next we are going to passwordless entry with passwordless it is going to send you email email body will be like that you will click this url link and it will allow you to log in who is going to be having passwordless and en uh, entry your passwordless login you can choose their settings here Two-factor authentication, you can choose uh, OTP via application, via email, or giving the correct answer. Force OTP via email or apply two-factor roles. It is applied to all. If you have more roles, you can choose one of them. This is the template you choose, and you can send messages or emails using that template. Now disable two-factor authentication for the known IPs. Again, it will be your IP or the IP you would like to allow. If you have a company, you can start put a static starting IP and ending IP from a range from maybe 10 IPs or five IPs or 10 uh, stuff like that. Recapture, this is from Google. Yeah, you need to uh, buy or update to pro version then security settings yes this one is also in pro version and this file checksum also md5 hash will also be in pro version these are the features what you could do so the basic thing under dashboard from this what we learn is you need to start putting your uh, configuration and htxs files their permission as per suggested Thank you for watching this video. We'll go with more security, WordPress more security plugins, and we'll learn how to enhance and how to improve WordPress security.